Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today we're going to talk a little bit about bubbles. Not the fun kind, not like <sighs> bubbles, you know. No, these are the bubbles that are happening in your canning jar when you pull them out of the pressure canner. So I'm not sure how the how the information came out because um, I, I didn't hear about it for a very long time and then somebody said, oh yeah, you know, um, that jar's going to fail because it wasn't bubbling when you pulled it out. So I started paying more attention and that's not true. That's not true at all. And I get this question a lot. So I thought we'd dive into it for a hot minute and just talk about how we can better prepare um, our expectations for what's happening when we can, right? So regardless of what it is in the pressure canner, whether it is raw packed meat or hot packed meat or green beans or potatoes or whatever, okay? Um, if you notice my last canning video from last weekend, when I pulled the potatoes out, I said, okay, look at bubble, bubble. These are all bubbling. This one is not bubbling. You can tell that it's siphoned. There's no bubbling. And then the other one was going crazy, right? That one was because of the temperature change. So that caused the siphoning um, because I had the window open. It was a little cool. And that one said, nah, -uh, we're not going to play today. Sorry. Um, but every single one of those jars sealed. So when you pull your jars out of the canner, you do want to be very careful. You want to try to make sure that the temperature adjustment is not too much. You want to make sure that it's been canned for the right amount of time. Um, one thing you'll see me do on my canning videos is I let it depressurize completely on its own and then I wait five minutes and then I take the regulator off and I let it sit, okay? And then I'll undo the lid and kind of tip it a little bit, let it sit, not pull it completely off because that lets the air that's in the house go into the canner slower than if you just pull it off. Now, if you just pull it off, a lot of times what happens is all of a sudden all of your jars will be going, you know, and they'll become very active. They can fail at that point because it is siphoning, but it's not a guaranteed fail. Having the bubbles in your jar that's not making all that noise is not a guaranteed success. Having no bubbles in your jar is not a guaranteed fail. So take some time, slow down, <laughs> okay? I talk really fast and just slow down the process. Be sure to let it cool down and let it sit for about five minutes after it completely depressurizes on its own. Take your regulator off because with that off, the petcock is automatically going to be letting some excess heat out of there, but in a very slow and intentional amount. So you're gonna let that sit for like five minutes, okay? And then you're gonna unhook your lid and just tip it back a little bit and that will let a little more come out at a much slower pace than if you just pulled the entire lid off. By taking these very simple steps, um, you will have less failures, you will have more success, but if you pull jars out and you see that there's not bubbles going on in there, they're not automatic failures. I would say that less than 50% of the jars that I have pulled out that weren't bubbling actually failed. Most of them succeed. They seal and they're good. So it's not really an indicator about success or failure. It's something to keep your eye on. If you, if you pull it out and it's not bubbling, you go, okay, I know I have to watch that one. And in six, eight, 12, 24 hours, if it hasn't sealed, put it in the fridge and you can eat it, you know, later that week, that day, whatever the case may be. But you guys saw from that canning video, if you didn't, I'll put the link here, okay? Um, if you saw from that canning video, I had them coming out bubbling, beautiful, all kinds of fun, right? It's a party in a jar. And then I had the one came out that was just going absolutely crazy because of the temperature change. And then I had one that came out and went, mm -hmm. yeah, we're not going to play this today, sorry. Um, it was no bubbles, no nothing, and it definitely siphoned, okay? All of them sealed. Every single one of them sealed. A good, solid seal. So I'm going to eat all of them. They're all good. There's nothing wrong with them. Do not use bubbles to determine whether or not it's good. Make sure to let the jars sit. You need to let them sit on the counter, regardless of whether they're bubbling or not, okay? Let them sit on the counter and, and just meditate for a few hours, okay? Go to six, go to eight, and by then you should know, theoretically, okay? But you have up to 24 hours in, before you have to do something with them. Either put it in the fridge, eat it, whatever reprocess it if you want okay but you have that time use it let it do its due let it work the process it's all part of that process you know from beginning to end letting it sit there and just 
be its little zen self is what you need to do. Just walk away from it for a little while. Just be sure to go back within 24 hours, okay? Go slow, understand the process, and you're golden. You've got this. I hope everyone is having a spectacular day, and I hope this little video helps some of you out. Have a great day. Be safe.